does not convince me. This does not convince me when buds try and they blast. Even now with new growths, I am not convinced. Hi, this is the ugly. This is something you will very, very rarely see on my channel. I am done with Dendrobium phalaenopsis type orchids. I am so over it. I am so sick of trying to combat the pests. Apparently, according to my garden center, I have moth larvae and they take out these leaves every single time, every single year. And then I've tried to save them, put them all in one pot just to save space. This is just a, no, I've had enough. So let's, let's put you on the tripod and let's just get rid of these guys. Does anybody else have that kind of point in time in their orchid journey where they have tried and tried and it's just, it's just not happening. And then I've read up about so many things and to be honest, I don't even think this was moth larvae now. I think it's just the major case of thrips but it's always the den fowls. I have other dendrobiums that also show similar signs. And I was lucky to get away with it with them because I was wiping the leaves, just as I was wiping these leaves with the insecticide. And I got away with it with those. They have similar markings, but not this bad. And I'm getting ahead of it. I'm winning with those orchids but not with these guys. I'm just tired of it. I hate throwing orchids away. And the root system is not that bad, actually. But I, I hate throwing orchids away, but I'm just so, so at the end of my rope with these den fowls. See, the root system is actually not that bad. And under normal circumstances, I would try again and I would keep going. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just over it, over it. So if you are the kind of person that gets queasy, the kind of grower that doesn't like what they're gonna see now, then, you know, disclaimer, please don't continue watching the video because I'm just here now filming and expressing my frustration at not being able to get these den fowls to grow the way they should and can. I've had them for three years. And the first year, okay, I didn't know what I was dealing with. I didn't know what pest it was. And then I went to my garden center and they said, oh my goodness, you've got moth larvae digging and eating away at your leaves. They gave me some sticker things that have moth larvae pheromones on them to attract the adult female moth laying egg and to then, you know, kill it. The only thing it's ever attracted was any kind of other little gnats or something like that, some mosquitoes. I haven't seen a single moth on those sticky pads for three years. <laughs> I still have some left because they're just useless. And then, you know, you, they, they it's not that I don't mind them taking up space. I'm just so done with seeing hope in a new growth and then seeing this come out of it. And then the blooms, of course, they blast. It's, can you hear it? Can you hear it? I'm done. So yeah, a rare video in my collection. This has never happened as radically as I'm doing it now. I have lost orchids before, yes mainly due to bad culture, not making, doing my homework properly and thinking that I'll get it right, even though I might not have the climate for it. But uh, no, no, no. Never have I had an orchid that just kept getting attacked, that the bugs were more resilient than anything I tried to do. And again, 
let me say, if this was an extremely expensive orchid of sorts, yeah, I would keep fighting, but these are easy to come by if I ever want to try again. If I see them again and I like the color of the blooms, then I'm going for it again, absolutely. But for the time being, I've just had enough of looking at them and feeling defeated by some pest. And then also my next thing is, what if it goes and spreads further? So these have been segregated and isolated. I've done all that hoo-ha for now two years after I recognized the problem. No, and even this root system isn't too bad either. And there's probably still life and potential. It's a dendrobium, it will come back and, but I'm done. I am so, oh, and also annoyed with myself that I couldn't actually manage to pull them off and bring them through. So no matter of what amount of new growths I see, I am not going to fall for it again. I've done this now for a good two years since the problem was recognized. I've been so happy to see new growth, so happy to have been given more and more of a chance and be on top of the growths, taking care of them, watching out for them and nothing. So I'm not going to be weakened by the fact I'm seeing two new growths on this one right here. I have made up my mind. And honestly, one of these is, and I think it's this one actually, it's the Burana green, you know, the green leaves with the beautiful purple lip. Yeah, it's, it's over. We're done, you go your way, I'll go mine. I think, I hope to have learned my lesson and I am documenting this because at the beginning of the year there was some suggestions and some help and I worked with those suggestions and with the help which I so appreciated and clearly I was not successful enough and now I've had enough. So I have freed myself of some pots which is not a bad thing either and I have some lecker to clean which is not so bad either. And I have to go to the recycle bin. Once I take out all the supports and everything else as well. But I just wonder if there are other growers, if you're watching this video, other orchid growers that actually come to the point where they say, you win, bugs win, I've tried, and that's it. We're done. <laughs> Time to go our separate ways here. Let me know in the comments below. Don't hate me for what you're seeing me do. I've just, you know, I'm six foot tall. I've had it up to here, up to the top of my head. So not one of the most pleasant videos except for King in the background. And let me bring it to a positive close. And there he is. Puppy! Let's finish this off on a positive note. And he would fall asleep on my hands just like that. You want to have a look-see? There you go. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.